don't know if this is a really tough one to answer. Uh, I don't think it's one we discussed ahead of time, but being that the book is geared more towards managers, like, is there kind of like, I don't want to say like a snapshot, but, you know, once someone's understood how this works, how would they then kind of roll this out, implement it? What's like the action stack that comes next uh, in terms of how to better utilize this in your organization? Well, maybe I can answer that in two different ways. One is if you're a manager who wants to do this, how do you operationalize it? Right. I would invite folks to take the free self-assessment, invite them to have a conversation with me and share to the extent that they're comfortable what their dimensions of greatest interest are. And then I would quick open the book to the chapter related to that interest. Yeah. And all you have to do is stay one chapter ahead of your team. Yeah. And the book is actually laid out. It, it probably should have been called a, a workbook because each of the chapters in the book is that, or most of the chapters in the book are dedicated to these different dimensions, a little bit of background, but for the most part, it is templates, tools, strategies, questions to ask, worksheets to use. So it really becomes a workbook where you could sit down with the employee and say, okay, let's say confidence is what you, you know, are really interested in. And that's how we want to focus your growth and development. Let's just open to the chapter and look at it. Right. Oh, here's a worksheet. Let's do that together. So it becomes a really collaborative, collegial sort of experience. At the organization level, and I'm working with so many organizations right now for which this really resonates, um, they're accomplishing it in a couple of different ways. Love the assessment, so they put their folks through the assessment, and we're able to, in those implementations, then run for the organization a report that lets them know where the interest lies in their organization. You know, is it contribution, which is typically number one in our global research what we found was, you know, I, I'd done the, this is a little bit of a segue. Do you mind if I go there for a yeah, minute? Yeah, far away. So we had the, the dimensions, but I wasn't sure, like, if people were ranking them, where would these other things fall vis-a-vis -vis climb? So we did this global study, about 800 people worldwide, asked them to rank these uh, dimensions. And what we found was in aggregate, climb was dead last. Mm. It was least interesting contribution in aggregate was number one, then competence. And competence and contribution were number one and two across all ages. So what we found is all of the other dimensions were more interesting than climbing the corporate ladder. So what we do when we're working with an organization, we can run a report and let them see where their folks stand vis-a-vis -vis all of the dimensions. That gives them some great data for uh, being able to look at ways to engage in, and offer support. But then managers typically go through a workshop and learn how to use the self-assessment report, the framework, the, the book, and the tools in it. And then many organizations are also finding that despite the fact that the self-assessment really does kind of educate employees, they want their employees to kind of take that to the next level. And so we offer some training to employee populations as well, helping them internalize and figure out how can I use this for my own development.